Hi, my name is Eric Olson, Executive Director of HELP's nonprofit law firm. I've been an attorney now for 40 years and founded HELP's. HELP's is a nationwide nonprofit law firm that protects seniors and disabled persons from unwanted collector contact. It also educates them on how to maintain their financial independence. We talk to seniors every day all over the country, and one of the most common things we hear is the fear of a senior of a judgment. They're worried that someone's gonna get a judgment, and they're worried what that's gonna mean. Maybe a collector calls them and tries to tell them they have to pay, and they say, if you don't pay, we're gonna get a judgment against you. And the senior is scared or fearful of what a judgment would do to them. And I wanna explain why that is in almost every case not a problem for a senior. First thing seniors need to understand is that federal law protects their social security, pension, disability, and VA benefits from collectors. It cannot be garnished or taken from them. It can't be taken from you. It's protected. It's available for you and for your needs. It does not need to be used to pay old debt you can't afford to pay. So you don't need to worry about that. Now, uh, but if you're, sometimes seniors are scared, well, if they get a judgment, they're gonna take my home. Well, let me explain that. Uh, if you're buying a home, every, almost every state has what's called a homestead exemption. It's an amount of equity you're allowed to keep in a home that's per protected from collectors in bankruptcy or otherwise. Now, if you, and you can find out how much the equity of your home, what the homestead exemption in your state by Googling your state and your homestead exemption. But a lot of times seniors might have uh, an equity in their home over and above their state homestead exemption. And so they're worried if someone gets a judgment, they're gonna take their home, okay? I've been an attorney now for 40 years. Judgment creditors do not go after people's homes, even when they have an excess equity in their home. It just doesn't happen. What they'll do is if they get a judgment, the judgment will sit there. The judgment creditor will hope to get paid at some point if the home is sold or when the person passes on or maybe when it's refinanced. And for a lot of seniors, they don't have enough equity in the home. There's no judgment. If a judgment's filed, there's nothing for any type of lien to attach and they don't have to worry about it. So uh, the fear of a judgment uh, on a home, it's not a problem. If it were ever a problem, there's solutions that can, there's, there's things that can be done, but worrying about losing your home because someone gets a judgment against you, no, it's not gonna happen. Okay, now, what about your personal property? Uh, maybe you're worried that you've got a car that's free and clear, or you've got a nice piano at home or some furniture. Judgment creditors do not go after your personal property. They just don't do it. I've been an attorney for 40 years, probably filed 40 to 50,000 bankruptcies. Judgment creditors do not go after people's personal property. It's too complicated. Once again, states have exemptions that protect the personal property. Uh, they'd have to file certain papers in court, and they have to post a bond and all that. They just don't do it. So, and, and then once again, if they were, they could be stopped, and they know that, so they don't waste their time or money doing it. So you don't need to worry about losing any personal property. Now, if they get a judgment, can they take your bank account? Uh, first off, I explained that your Social Security and your pension, your disability VA benefit is protected. It can't be garnished. There's a federal regulation that protects twice the amount of your federal benefit, including your social security, that's electronically deposited into a bank account from garnishment, no matter what monies are in there. So if you receive $1,500 in social security and $500 from a private pension, that's $2,000. So, but 1,500 for your social security times two would be 3,000. If there's less than 3,000 in a checking account and a creditor will file a writ of garnishment on your bank account, the bank looks at the looks at your bank deposit, sees that $1,500 comes in each month, they times that times two, they know that 3,000 in that account is protected. No matter what monies came, are in there, if it came from selling something on eBay, or a gift from a friend, or something, a little side job you had done, as long as it's less than 3,000 is protected. If there's more than that in there, then uh, the money still could be protected. You'd have to file a claim of exemption in state court, but most seniors don't have that problem. They just keep their, the, the money they have in there is less than twice the amount of the federal benefit or twice the amount of the social security that's regularly deposited. Now, you'll never hear this from a collector, ever. You know, they're not gonna tell you when they try to call you to, to intimidate you to collect a debt that you don't have to pay, that your income is protected. Instead, they're gonna, Use the threat of a, a garnishment or a judgment or whatever they can say to get you to pay, okay? So you need to understand 
that uh, you know if they don't uh, that they don't they don't have a right to they don't have the obligation to tell you that and they're not going to tell you that because their job is to try to collect the debt. So I want you to understand that that judgments for seniors uh, are almost never ever a factor. In fact, that's what you may have heard the word judgment proof. You know, vast majority of seniors are judgment proof with being. If someone gets a judgment against them, they can't do anything about it. Now, where does HELPS fall in? We're a nonprofit law firm. We represent seniors who have debt they can't afford to pay. We send letters to the collectors telling them that they have to leave them, leave them alone. They have to communicate with us under, under a federal law called the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act. If a person is represented by an attorney, collectors have to simply leave you alone. They have to deal with the attorney. And that's what we do. We represent seniors nationwide. We never turn anyone away. As far as I know, we're the only nonprofit law firm in the nation that does what we do. And that's to protect seniors from unwanted collector contact. And I hope this has been helpful. At the end of this video, there'll be some links on some topics related to this. Please look at those and be sure and call us if you have any questions. Toll free, 855-435-7787. And you have a great day. Hi, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to subscribe to Helps Nonprofit Law Firm YouTube channel, click on the button below. We prepare a YouTube video at least once every week dealing with financial issues for seniors and disabled persons. Have a great day.